Hi, Hippie Trev here, and welcome to my channel. Um, hope you get something out of it. Right here, so welcome back. Now, Brian did ask me the other day uh, about changing a tyre, so we'll get into doing a tyre. Now, for the purpose of this video, at the start, I'm going to use this jack here. I'm going to jack the car up and I'll get under there with the camera and I'll show you where to put your jack. Now, every, every car should have one of these. Your jack, wheel brace and your tools. So firstly, I'll get under the car and I'll use this jack and I'll jack it up and I'll get the camera and I'll show you where your jacking points are because there's certainly places that you do not want to jack your car up from. You don't want to be putting it through the floor of your car. So let's get her up in the air and I'll show you where the jacking points are. All right, now, so if you get under your car here, so this is all plastic here, but here there's a cutout. There's one at the back, there's one here at the front. And also under here, there's this solid piece. So what you do is, you notice, you notice your jack has this cutout. So I'll just take it down a bit. So he goes under there, and you make sure, I'll just come back a bit, here we go. So you make sure that goes in the rib there. And it also sits on that tag up in here. And this sits in your guttering, like so. And then you jack your wheel up. Which I'll show you in a second as well. Now, before you go too much further, now you also got to remember this tire is probably going to be dead flat, so that jack's going to be a lot lower down before it goes under, and then you've got to crank it all the way up. Now, when your tire's flat, this one isn't, but when your tire's flat, it'll clear the ground rather quickly. So just keep that in mind for the next stage. Now, before you've cleared the ground with your tire, now this is a front wheel drive, so it's not so bad. So if you're in park, this tire won't spin. But if you've got your back tire is flat, best thing to do is lift it till before it's off the ground and then we crack the wheel nuts so I'll set my camera up and I'll show you how we do that there you go. this is what we call a wheel brace now the other thing this car has mags on it a lot of the cars you girls drive will have a standard rim and they have a hubcap here so what you do They'll usually give you a tool that you go in and you just prise your hubcap off and it'll just fall onto the ground. Now there also will be a slot for your valve when you go to put it back on. All you do is just put it on and you smack it back on. So, right now, you will still solid on the ground. You want to leave it there and you want to crack your wheel nuts. To crack your wheel nuts, anti-clockwise now most of you don't even know what anti-clockwise is because hardly anyone wears a watch anymore if they do it's probably digital so I mean going backwards so to undo push down crank it down now the other thing is a lot of tire places they'll do these up so goddamn tight that you won't be able to undo them on the side of the road so bear with me for a second so as an extra bit of kit in your car Grab yourself a piece of pipe like this. You will spanner on, put your pipe on, and that'll give you extra leverage. Crack, so simple. Right, crack your wheel nuts. Spanner on properly. And make sure you do have your spanner on properly. Like that. Crack your wheel nuts. So, that's wheel nuts cracked. So, back to our jack. Now, this is what they give you for a jack, this funny looking hook thing. It goes in there. That goes on there. And you crank. Crank, 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 crank. Now, our wheel's now rocking. Take our spanner and finish undoing our wheel nuts. Now 
Now these are a mag, they're a little bit harder than the standard wheel, but it's all done the same way. Now you remember the people with the servos, they've got rattle guns. It's off. We're not using a rattle gun, we're doing this manually. This is how it looks on the side of the road, this is how you do it. consuming but I'm not going to speed up the camera because of stuff that might editing so there you go most cars have five wheel nuts a lot of the smaller jappy ones have four okay that's our wheel off it's done now there's our brake caliper we won't get into brakes right now so there's our wheel okay now comes time to put it back on and you think how the hell I'm going to lift this heavy tyre up that high to get it on the rim. Well, I'm about to show you how to do it. Alright, so what we're going to do, we've got to put our wheel back on. Now, as you can see, with the new tyre that's pumped up, it's a lot. The car's a lot higher up, the wheel on don't match up. So, what we do is, very slowly, I'm going to get this lever in. We jack our car down very slowly. That's now so you want to line your holes up. So, I need to come down a little bit more. So, just bring your wheel down. Slowly start wheeling them into position. So, I've come too low. So now, I've got to come up a bit. And you slide your wheel on. Just get one nut on the bottom. Anywhere will do, it doesn't matter, you want to secure the wheel. Now you've slid it on there. Rejack it up. So it's loose. Slide it on. Put your nuts on. Like so. Now, there is a sequence to doing this to get your wheel on centre properly. Doesn't matter which one you start on. Just there. You only want it firm. Go immediately across to that one. Right? Firm. And up to this one. What this does, this is this centers your wheel nuts and your wheel properly down to this one. Like so. And like so. So that's your five wheel nuts on there, snug. Now we make sure they're tight. Now, also, do your jack, let your car down, especially for the back wheel. Till the tyre is just on the ground and just touching. You want it just touching the ground, you don't want any weight, but you don't want this to move. Now, how do you see? That's still loose, so tighten that one up again. That one. Right, they're all just snugly done. Like that. Now we do it properly. We'll start from here using our, using our pipe. One. See the wheel just turned, two, three, four, and five, and then finally, let's go one more time, one, two, 
three, four, five. Okay, that's our wheel change done. Hopefully your flat's in the back, off to the station. And now, using our, we just jack it down, as such. Uh, now you gotta remember with the tyre being flat, a bit of effort involved. Right. That's down low enough. There, so. Remember your jacking points front and back. Just get your wheel off the ground so it's not spinning, so you can crack your nuts. I'll just move that. So you can crack your nuts. Find a piece of pipe, something like this, to put in your toolkit. It's also a good weapon if you need to skull fuck someone. But anyway, so this is extra leverage on this because a lot of the tire joints, they rattle gun these bastards so tight you cannot get them undone on the side of the road. I've had it with my car. So, so, Ryan, your girls and your mates, I'm huffing and puffing. But that's how we change a tire, usually on the side of the road. Cheers, worlds. I'm Hippie Trev. Catch you later.